we had our our first ever Category Five crew conversations yes. last week, yeah. and this week it's time for our first ever Category Five crew conversations cupcake. So, who do you think did the best with our crew conversations? Let me just remind you, if you're just joining us, Jeff, you covered topics like Chromebooks for school, yes, for the education sector, yes. for your children, yes. You covered Raspberry Pi microcomputers as Minecraft servers, yes. I, on the other hand, the clear winner. <laughs> covered uh, using 3D printers to save money. Yep. Because the price of 3D printers has come down so far, I posed the question, could I actually save money to, to spend it on a 3D printer? Mm -hmm. And I think the answer is yes. I think it is too. I also talked about using a pan tilt uh head from a DMX light, yes. which is a, a like a think of a DJ light that you know moves around and 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 the DJ can control that with a DMX controller, mm -hmm. which is um, like pretty typical and we have one here. And putting a Raspberry Pi HQ camera in the body of that and using the 3D printer to reprint the face I, to make it work. I, so you can still use the lights but you've got the camera. When we went through this, I was like, there is, oh, there is no man. way that I'm coming out ahead because those are flipping cool ideas. Flipping cool. You heard it flipping right here, Flipping cool. Folks. Wow. I covered some crazy awesome stuff. But you Jeff, did. your your mom was watching. <laughs> uh, I may have paid her. Oh. What, did I pull out the win? Tell me honestly, did you vote for your own videos? No. No. I did right. not vote for my own videos. I also did not vote for my own videos. Jeff came out on top 25%. Yeah. Now, I think your, your topic of using a, a Raspberry Pi as a Minecraft server really tipped you over the edge because people seem to really love that. We got some comments. Yes. People talking about I think about that was, was the most voted for video compared and to they, all four. And they loved it. Like yeah. the, people were talking about how, oh, this is something that I've been thinking about. Yes. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for talking about this. Yeah. I, I, <sighs> I have worked on it some more and I do have an update based on our conversation. Oh. Oh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. I, I've already kind of announced who gets the cupcake, but tell yeah. us. Yeah. So I, I did get the server up and running. <gasps> and for a single user to log in, it was not bad. Okay. As soon as my kids joined, not mm -hmm. so good. Oh. Yeah. I, I, we had three uh. computers, so I got the, the, the logins activated, and it just... Oh. So I would not use the 3B+. Plus. Okay. Here so is now I've got it on an Odroid. Huh? I'm going the next step up. Odroid XU4. XU4. With two gigs of RAM. With two with gigs. With EMMC or using SD? I'm using EMMC. <gasps> I've got a 64 gig EMMC on there. Beautiful. Which is way more than I need for the server. Mm, you say that, but then your kids become master builders. Well, exactly. And that's why I went with a bigger one. I debated on the 128, but I'm like, I think that's a bit overkill right now for a Minecraft <laughs> server. But I, so the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus was too slow going beyond multiple, uh, a single user. And I yeah. think even if it was um, speedy enough to run multiple users, by the time they start creating and building and all that, it would slow right down. So now I'm trying it on the XU4. Like I said, world gen. Yep, Brutal exactly. on a Raspberry Pi. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, I, you don't have an update for us yet? No. <gasps> Darn it, Jeff! What a tease! I can only what do so much. I can only oh do so much. Oh my gosh, dude. So I've got it installed. I just haven't done the, the test yet. You're going to fill us in on this? Yes, of course. Oh, goodness. And, and if, if the XU4... Uh, is a little bit slow, then I will go with the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. Here is what is nice about going with the Raspberry Pi 4. You've already created it for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Correct. So all you have to do is take the SD card out of the 3B+, Plus, pop it in a Raspberry Pi 4, That's right. and turn it on. That's right. 
because it's already that configured. Is beautiful. Yes, that's what Raspberry Pi has going for it. Is that it is forward compatible. It's not backward compatible. If it, like you have to, well, not backward compatible. No, that's not right. Uh, what I mean is that um, an old distro from a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus will not work on a new Raspberry Pi 4 because they changed the bootloader. Yes. However, as long as you do like an, well, I presume it's a new version of Raspberry Pi OS. Yes. Yeah, it was the so most recent. Good. So it's going to work on a Raspberry yeah. Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 0, whatever. Um, but the performance will be impacted. If you have a distro that's been built on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that's not compatible with a Raspberry Pi 4, you can do a dist upgrade. Exactly. And that will actually make it compatible with it's a Raspberry really Pi easy 4. easy to do. Yeah. Apt, update, and then enter, and then apt, upgrade, and then enter, and then apt, dist, dash, upgrade. And that's all you need to do on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 0 yep. and anything in between in order to make it compatible with a Raspberry Pi 4. So you can take that SD card and move it into another into yes. a faster system. You yep. cannot take that SD card out of the Raspberry Pi 3 and plug it into an XU4 from That's Odroid right. because they are not compatible. That's right. Yeah. But the Odroid has twice as much RAM, mm -hmm. way more storage, and oh, EMMC is so much faster than yes. SD cards, yes. especially on the pre-Pi 4 yeah. because those were really slow SD card readers. Yeah. And the reason I went with, if I, if I had... A Raspberry Pi four, yeah. I would have used, I just would have gone from the three to the four, but okay. because I have not purchased a Raspberry Pi four yet, mm -hmm. the XU four is what I had, and so that's why I'm giving it a run on that. Wonderful. But I, as I was doing it, I think I thought about our conversation last week. You're like, oh, what about the Odroid? And what about the, you know? And so I'm like, here, here's the progression. Worth the shot. Worth so the shot. we can, you know, I'll be able to report back and say this was the difference. Now I, I, I should have thought to do like benchmarks and stuff between the two, but. Yeah, but you know. No, exactly. I mean, you can tell when you're playing Minecraft if World Gen is bad. Yes. Yeah. So, so Jeff, on that note, enjoy your gourmet cupcake. Oh, I will. From our local bakery. I will. And while Jeff does that, I'm actually going to mosey on over to the bridge, and I want to show you my new clock. Interesting. See ya. Two seconds later. <laughs>